Hi, I'm Franz von Holzhausen. I head up design for Tesla. Um, we're standing here in front of the Cybercab. Um, this is a vehicle that we just debuted. So come on down, check it out. You get to see it in person till basically the beginning of January. It's a really exciting vehicle for us. This is something that is going to radically change transportation as we know it. Cybercab is a fully autonomous vehicle. You can own the car, you can purchase the car, you can lease the car for the amount of time that you want. It's a different type of ownership experience than maybe we're 100% familiar with, but I think it's going to really revolutionize the way that we move ourselves around. It allows people that didn't necessarily have access to public transportation to get from A to B, to go to places where they maybe couldn't afford to go or where transportation wouldn't take them. Okay, we're standing here in the rear of the vehicle and here's where you actually can see how teardrop shaped the car is and some of the unique features about the rear of the, of the car. We have indirect lighting for the rear signature, something that we haven't really seen before. There's obviously no rear window and in an autonomous car, when you're really focused on getting from A to B, you're not doing the driving. It doesn't matter so much about what's behind you, but it allows us to actually have uh, incredibly big storage in, in a small car like this. So conceptually, two people going to the airport can put their big luggage in the back as well. So there's plenty of room for extra luggage. It's great for deliveries, uh, food deliveries, packages, etc. So there's multi-use for this product. We wanted the car to really feel like from science fiction or from the future in a way. So we've taken some of the design language that we've used on our other vehicles, Model 3, Model Y, Cybertruck, and really extended that into this vehicle. It's got a very dynamic stance to it. The big wheels really help hide the proportion of the car, really make it feel tight and compact and just futuristic. Obviously, the dihedral doors open up in a way that's just not conventional and really make you feel like you're stepping into the future of the car. And as we kind of move around, you can see, obviously, there's no steering wheel. This is a fully autonomous car, will never have a steering wheel, and is really only around focused on, on uh, autonomy. Inside the car, it's two seats, and there's a massive screen inside. So when you're not driving, this enables you to relax. The screen is around entertainment. Since you're not driving, you can be productive, do work, watch a movie, kick back, social media, et cetera. The things that you do if you're in a rideshare car now. And it's designed to be really accessible and easy to get in and out of. The car will arrive, pick you up, take you to your destination, drop you off, stay if you need it to stay, go park itself, go charge itself. It's wireless charging, which is unique on this car as well. So you never have to worry about charging and it'll just go find a, a charger, charge itself and move on. Yeah, the car is really designed around the idea that around 90 to 95% of rides are really only, uh, our, our rides are really only carrying one person, maybe two people. So this vehicle isn't designed to be the kitchen sink and carry everybody. We have other vehicles in our lineup and future vehicles coming um, that will basically take multiple passengers. But this is really focused around the instance what you see on the freeway, one person in a car going from A to B, whether it's commuting to work, et cetera. And that's what the goal of this is. And I think, you know, if we, if we think about two passengers going in comfort to the airport, this is a perfect vehicle for that. Getting you to work while you're at work, the car can go charge, it can go actually do another delivery, it can pick up another person. Um, with over 200 miles of range, there's no reason to worry about uh, range anxiety. We charge, we do all the work on the back end to make sure that you just have a, a seamless experience. As we move forward, I think, you know, obviously the car has a really unique signature. The overall design was really to feel like the future and that this car was coming from the future. It's a little bit like a time capsule and where you get in and transport yourself to your destination in a really comfortable way uh, at, for a cost of um, a bus transit ride, which, you know, 
maybe isn't always the most pleasant experience, but you get your own space, your own capsule to do what you want to do, relax, sleep, again, do your work, be entertained, watch a great movie, et cetera, and get from A to B and as comfortably and efficiently as possible. We chose the color gold and it's really a special color. It really reflects kind of a future version of the idea of a New York City yellow cab. Um, and it's a future idea of that where we've taken that iconic yellow and created something more expressive and uh, more up to date. And the gold is just, it uh, feels right. The, the idea of wedge in Tesla design is something that, you know, we've looked at obviously with Cybertruck, it's an incredibly wedgy car. And, you know, I think learning from those things, it's also, uh, there's an efficiency story to that. And all of our vehicles are really designed around efficiency. When you have this teardrop shape, um, it just improves the overall aerodynamics. You can see that again on this car. Um, this is really taking a lot of the language that we've developed and bringing it into uh, a car that's attractive, um, something that you want to be seen in or own potentially, and with a clean body side, the, the, the expressive low nose and really fast back, tapered back. It just has a cool feel to it. Feels very futuristic, very clean, very sensible. Designers are always thinking about the future and we are, we're in a situation where we can actually express what that future could look like. And, you know, the technology can, in a lot of instances, maybe be scary, you know, and we want to make sure that that isn't part of the equation of the experience uh, and that you are going to safely get from A to B in a, in, a, in a car that's attractive and unique and expressive. And I think, you know, being able to create a narrative for what the future could be is a designer's dream, and I'm just fortunate to be part of that. You know, some of the interesting features that we have on the Cyber Cab uh, are just obviously easy to spot. Uh, the wheels, people ask about the wheels, like what were we thinking? Well, we wanted the car to be extremely efficient and from an aerodynamic perspective, putting a, a clean disc over it, but that wasn't enough. We wanted the wheels to disappear and actually just become part of the overall design of the car. And so we extended the color onto the tire itself and it really creates a like a futuristic, like the car is hovering and floating. The doors obviously are unique. Uh, they're, they're designed to just make you feel like you're stepping into a futuristic car. And then you get into the interior. The seats are not really designed with bolsters. This isn't a driver's car. This is a car that's just gonna get you comfortably from A to B. They're designed more to be like a couch where you get in and you can kind of slide into a really comfortable position and just enjoy the ride and in total comfort. So. I think things like that are, are obvious. We put a big, huge screen in the center of it. Again, that's the, the hero of the interior is this giant screen. And um, that's where you're gonna be spending your time. Everything that we do at Tesla, we wanna make sure that it feels like it's, we're bringing the future to today. The technology is very advanced, whether it's from the electrification and how we handle that part with including like wireless charging or the um, full self-driving software and how that um, applies into a product. And I think we just wanted to put it in a shell that made it feel like this is the future, but you're experiencing it today. And, you know, stay tuned. Obviously with the bus, we showed something very futuristic that can transport up to 20 people uh, extremely comfortably. So we want to create ideas that feel like they're concepts, but they're available uh, right now. Thanks again, I'm Franz. Come down to the Peterson before the new year. See CyberCab, it's here for a few more weeks. Um, I think you'll get a glimpse of what the future of transportation will look like. <laughs>